Good afternoon, greetings once again from Hindle Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So as promised, here's going to be the walk around video on this 2006 Ural Troika. This was an OEM color. From the factory, black and maroon, two-tone, 19-inch wheels. You see the uh, Troika had the uh, leading link, or not the leading link, I'm sorry, had the uh, telescopic forks instead of the leading link. That you usually see on the Ural motorcycle. Uh, this unit was actually designed so that you could uh, take sidecar off. Uh, it does have the uh, turn signal mounts here on the inside, on the right side, so you could add turn signal. Same thing on the back. This is a, uh, like I say, a 2006 model, uh, and you see it also has. Uh, if you can find one, come up with one, somebody's probably got a new old stock somewhere. Uh, the side stand, you see right there we have the uh, side stand mount welded onto the frame. So there was a uh, Ural OEM side stand that went on there. But uh, why you come to the Ural motorcycles, that's for the sidecar. Uh, usually folks never take, want to take the sidecar off once they get one to find out how much fun it is. So this is a uh, 2006 model that we purchased from the previous owner. Uh, I think he was the second or third owner of it. Uh, does have uh, 25,000 and some change kilometers on it, so 15,000 and some change miles. Uh, looks like it originally came from a former dealer in uh, Muncie, Indiana, Lear Unlimited there, uh, many, many years back. Before we became a dealer, did visit that facility uh, and looked at some bikes, so... He's no longer in business, but uh, that's where this unit originally came from. It does appear that it's been customized a little bit. Uh, some odds and ends added to it that probably weren't uh, weren't standard. Uh, looks like somebody put the different tank badges on it. Um, went with the uh, National Cycle Plexistar 2. Uh, that's pretty much a standard motorcycle standard windshield. Very easy to install. Uh, this unit's also been upgraded. Uh, of course, it would have come standard in 2006 with the Brembo front disc brake, as you see there. Uh, they've added the Ducati electronic ignition. Originally, this would have had the uh, Russian ignition assembly, um, but they've upgraded, you see here, this plug. Um, and then they've plugged the holes where the uh, spark plug wires used to come out of. The coil is now mounted up there. Um, you have the Ducati coil. And then if you watched my other video on it where we did some repairs, uh, that uh, shows that it does have that Ducati electronic ignition assembly. 2006 model, of course, running the key and CVK carbs. Right there. Very problem-free carburetor, easy to get parts for and all that good stuff. This unit also has the silicone valve cover gaskets on it. And we should note it has updated rocker arms on it and also has updated heads. Uh, just came back from a test ride, wanted to make sure everything was good to go on it. Did some repairs last week before Christmas. Um, and then we wanted to take her down the road and make sure everything was good to go and sorted out for you. So it is ready for sale. Uh, we're going to be looking at $89.95 on this unit. And when we received it, uh, it wasn't running quite properly. Uh, there were some issues with the right uh, intake valve on the uh, sidecar side. Uh, so what we did is we went ahead and we had a good uh, set of low mileage heads. We went ahead and put two new heads. And then we went ahead while we were in there and updated the rocker arms uh, to the new style with the needle bearings. You may ask, what is this right here? See the little threaded hole? It'd be kind of hard for you to see, but we'll zoom in there. Um, these are heads off of a fuel injected bike. Yep, that's correct. Even though this is a 2006 carbureted unit, uh, that's the threaded port for the uh, temperature sensor, head temperature sensor. Uh, blind hole doesn't go anywhere, so it's no big deal. This unit runs out very well. I uh, ran her up to 65 mile an hour, so she scoots right along. Has the Ural bench seat um, that hooks on with these brackets here. That's how the seat used to install. Bike also has a battery tender plug on it, uh, so it's ready to go set on the battery tender. Does have your external fuel filters. Uh, there should also be up inside there, I believe there's a another fuel filter. Um, if not, that's why they've got the external fuel filter there. Seat comes down and tees off and goes over to the other carburetor. 
There is a K&N air filter sticker on top of the air box, so we're assuming that it does have a K&N air filter. I have not had the air box apart, really no reason to. Uh, we did do an oil change, um, and we had it up on the lift. We found out that the uh, somebody had boogered up the drain plug, um, the drain plug threads on the oil pan. And, of course, one of the common things years ago is people used to put deep sumps on them, which extended the oil pan down, um, gave you an extra quart of oil capacity. So what we did is we had a, uh, uh, one of those takeoffs left laying around, one of the standard sumps, so we just put a different sump on it. Uh, no big deal. Um, so we got that all taken care of. And, of course, last week was uh, Christmas. We hope everybody had a happy holiday there. Uh, we did come in here on, uh, came in on Monday morning and noticed that there was a little drop. Uh, some drops of oil were on the floor right underneath there, right under the uh, final drive. Uh, so we did note that somebody had uh, gobbly gooped some blue silicone there on the bottom. Uh, so we want to take a good look at that. So we went ahead and popped the final drive out, flipped it over, um, checked it out. No cracks or anything, but it looks like the gasket, uh, the paper gasket, uh, had finally failed over the years. Keep in mind it is a 14 year old motorcycle so we went ahead and just stuck a new gasket in it re-put re the final drive all back together put it back in the bike filled her up with good 80 90 gear oil and run her down the road and she's dry as a bone which is good so you've got fresh service fresh oil change uh, those heads that we talked about with the new rocker arms uh, updated there and of course valve adjustment full service so this unit is ready to rock and roll uh, so you can definitely take off and have a good riding season on this unit. We'll bring you in here close. There are some blims on it. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary that you wouldn't see on a, like I say, a 14-year-old bike uh, with uh, 15,000 miles or so on it. There are some, some dings, uh, some chips that somebody else has touched up along the way. Uh, you see right there, you can see it in the sunlight. So I want to point those out to you. Uh, you can get a front bumper to go on it. I've got, I think I've got the chrome front bumper as well as I think I have stainless steel. So if you wanted to add the uh, new style bumper to the front, you could do that. Um, note there on the uh, oil pan, you also see we have the silicone sump gasket. That was already on there when we uh, went to put the, the new pan on or the replacement pan. So you've got that these are chrome steel 19 inch wheels 19 inch rims see right there in 19 by 2.15 your rim spec the previous owner had just replaced the tires not so long ago um, so it does have duros all the way around including the spare so those are ready to go those are relatively new tires Originally, this gentleman uh, was talking about selling this unit in the spring, but uh, what he had done is he brought it over to have us go through it. And like I said, it had that running issue there on the right cylinder where the intake valve was kind of messed up. Uh, so we went ahead and uh, worked out a deal with him to, to go ahead and purchase it. That way he didn't have to wait till spring to sell it since uh, he was wanting to move on and play with other toys, which you know how toys are. You can never have too many of them. So, so we went ahead and purchased it from him, so it is available for sale. Uh, like I say, $89.95 is what we're going to be looking at on this unit. And I did just notice it. I didn't notice it inside, but out here in the light. Uh, black is very good for showing up blims. And you can see, well, you might not be able to see it. We'll see whether we can pick it up on the camera. Uh, somebody may have already seen it. Uh, there's a small dent, and it's right there and it's actually somebody had something inside the sidecar uh, because that's convex it's not concave like a dent from the outside in it's from the inside out uh, so there's a little bit of a ding there you might be able to pick it up uh, it doesn't look like the paint's cracked but there is nonetheless that ding on it so i wanted to point that out to you uh, the sidecar windscreen does fold up like so and you may have already noticed that this has the uh, way the Troika came. It was just like the 2007 Tourist LX, which you may have seen our other video on one of those here not so long ago. Last summer, I believe it was, or maybe it was last winter. I don't remember when it was. Uh, but we had a 2007 that was a Tourist LX, very similar, similar model. Uh, you see there we have the high back seat, very luxurious seat. And then we'll go ahead and 
pull the tonneau loose. Get that out of the way. That way you can see it without the uh, tonneau cover on it. And it also has the LX style interior panels, the velour interior panels, which are very nice. Looks like we need to clean the dust off. See the dust there? Uh, we'll get all that cleaned up, but uh, we'll go ahead and pull the let's go ahead and pull the tonneau off of it for you so you can see. So one of those little factoids where we're folding this tonneau cover up, looks like it does have a little bit of paint or something on it that uh, might clean up. If not, uh, it's no big deal. Uh, one of the little factoids about sidecar motorcycles here in the United States is we see a large number of folks who purchased your, purchase your old motorcycles who are left-handed. Yes, that's correct. There's a lot of us that are evidently in our right mind because we buy your old motorcycles. So, kind of a little factoid for you there. We'll go ahead and Reaffix our leather straps here so you can see what it looks like with the tonneau cover removed and the sidecar windscreen apron attached. I do have these replacement aprons uh, brand new on the shelf. So if you guys have an older one uh, and you need the, uh, the ones with the leather tabs and the square fasteners there, we do have those available. Uh, they're not cheap. They're a little bit expensive, but... Uh, they do look good on there for sure. So, uh, this is a little bit of rubbing compound here. Uh, we did take the buffer and we buffed. Um, had some spots there. You can see my reflection. I uh, did have some spots on it, so we buffed that out. Um, this is the first time we've had it out in the sunlight, so we'll get her. We'll get her all cleaned up before you pick her up. But uh, it's what she looks like there with the tonneau removed. Very good looking machine. Uh, drives a little bit differently with the telescopic forks, uh, so it's wanting to, you want to be careful of that. Uh, doesn't not going to handle quite as well off road or on rough terrain as what the leading link does, but for cruising down the road, very good feature. See there, you have the 12 volt cigarette lighter size outlet, and then we also have fuse panel. And then let's take a look down here inside the sidecar and see if we can see whether the paint's boogered up or what we had that hit the, that caused our dent. Can't really tell, so there must have been something in there that uh, bounced around and caused that little dent at some point, so no big deal. So let's go ahead and lay our tonneau up here in the seat, and then we'll go ahead and we'll open up the open up our trunk. Stiff spring. Uh, the gentleman did send us over the owner's manual, so very gracious of that. Does have the original factory owner's manual. Um, also have the uh, toolkit, tire irons, that good stuff. Also has the Russian air compressor, still original there. And then inside our pouch, we have the little pouch that's on the back of the seat. Kind of a nice feature. And while we have the trunk open, we'll go ahead and throw some more stuff down in there. We'll put the tonneau down in. And again, you do see some abrasions. No big deal. Um, like I say, it is it is a 2006 model, so you were going to find some, some scrapes and scuffs. But uh, nothing really out of the ordinary. And then looks like I would imagine this unit came without a, without a luggage rack. Uh, if anybody out there has a Troika, they could... Uh, Tell me whether it came with or without a luggage rack. I don't remember. Um, I've slept twice since 2006, so uh, but it does have that chrome rack there on the over top of the spare wheel. And then originally these panels they just went on with Velcro, uh, but it appears that somebody used some push button fasteners. Looks like. Uh, so they have drilled through the sidecar and went ahead and uh, secured those in a nice manner. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Of course we have right here, we have our VIN number. 216-102 I think it says. Last six digits there. VIN numbers are sequential. I think right now we're at 231,000 and some change. So, I 
Yeah, we can check out, see when this unit was produced. Should be here on our label somewhere. Should tell us uh, what the month and year production was. Of course, we're going to guess it was probably a 2006 production since it is a 2006 motorcycle. Manufactured by Urban Motor Works. Manufactured 12 of 05. Oh, right there we go. So this unit just had its 15th birthday. So you can go local bike show. You're going to draw all the attention. And we'll go ahead and start it up. Uh, it hasn't been sitting here too long since I got back from my little test drive, so should fire right up. Of course, the carbureted ones, we always give them a little bit of throttle once they start to fire. It is a little chilly out today. It's 38 degrees or so out here, so... So we'll let her run till she's ready to take off and drive. Uh, let her come up to operating temperature. And of course, if you're ever gonna go down the road on a motorcycle, you definitely wanna put on all your safety gear and all that good stuff. And be very careful. And we like to show you all the ins and outs of uh, Ural motorcycles and Ural ownership. I do have a video that's probably going to come out on a uh, overview of one that was involved in a little bit of an accident. A uh, gentleman hit a deer uh, going down the road, so it uh, it totaled the 2017. Uh, did a lot of damage to it. It's hit all over, so we'll show you that video. Uh, waiting on the insurance company to finalize that deal, and then uh, we'll release that video so that you can see it. Uh, guy wasn't injured, so he walked away. No big deal. Is a big deal, but isn't a big deal as long as you're wearing your protective equipment. And you see there the odometer, we're at 25,937 kilometers. And it sounds to me like we're still running the uh, Russian timing gears, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong, but it does sound like there's a little bit extra clatter, which is probably the Russian gears. Somebody has upgraded the uh, timing cover screws there, Allen bolts, so that's kind of good. And we'll go ahead and set you up and I'll ride it around the lot so you can see it. Where are we going to sit? Oh, let's sit right here.
And of course, as you can see, the sidecar brake is a little bit tighter than what the rear of the motorcycle is. So we want to tighten up the rear motorcycle brake here. Like so. And over here, there's another adjustment. You see right here. So that's how you adjust your adjust your brakes. Does have uh, does have drum brakes on the back and on the sidecar, and then of course that Brembo front disc. Your spare wheel fits either your rear position or your sidecar position. And we'll go ahead and give this final drive down here. We'll give it a wipe. Just a check. Double check. Make sure we don't have any oil on it. We're good there. Uh, you can see we've got a new gasket installed. Uh, so I did have that final drive apart. Um, you know, needle bearings fall out when you take it apart. You just got to make sure you collect all 45 of them before you put it back together. Put her all back together and uh, ready to go. It's a beautiful looking rig. Uh, the chrome is just phenomenal on this unit. Get her all shined up and she'll be good to go. I think the uh, brake pads were also recently replaced so this unit's pretty well been gone through uh, just about everything's uh, ready to travel on it so so if you guys like what you see uh, definitely uh, give us a good thumbs up uh, comment down below uh, let us know what you think uh, we're always uh, more than happy to uh, read through the comments and try to try to reply back on just about everything. Uh, our full sales and service center for Euro motorcycles. I uh, have a number of new units on the floor, and then we try to keep uh, some pre-owned trade-ins around, but uh, they sell rather quickly. So uh, this is a 2006. It is a Euro Troika, and if you're interested. Definitely don't hesitate. Give us a call, send us an email, or comment down below. Tell us what you think. As always, we appreciate you watching. Till next time, Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Thanks for watching.